the magnetic force between two parallel conductors. Since a current in a conductor sets up a magnetic field, mu0 i over 4 pi ds cross r hat over r squared, this is our Biot-Savar law, two current carrying conductors will exert magnetic forces on each other. So let's look at two wires that carry a current I1 and I2, steady current I1 and I2, pointing in the same direction. And these two wires are at a distance A from each other and they have length L. Now you can see that the magnetic field B2 created due to the current I2 will be determined using the right hand rule. We point our thumb in the direction of the current, our fingers curl, uh, for the right hand, our fingers curl out of the board towards us and into the board, into the page uh, on the other side. And you can see that this magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane that contains I1 and I2 and um, it's pointing out of the page. So it's in this direction. Now, um, the force acting on this wire uh, will be determined by the uh, Lorentz force. The force on wire one is due to the uh, moving charges inside the wire, remember. It's the current I1 L cross magnetic field due to wire two. Now, since the L vector is in the direction of the current, uh, and B vector are perpendicular to each other. So we have seen that they are perpendicular to each other. We will have uh, for the force F1, I1, L, B2. Okay. And what will be the direction of this force? So it's L cross B. The four fingers of the right hand point towards the uh, current direction, curl them uh, out of the page in the direction of the magnetic field, L cross B, the thumb points towards wire 2. So that's the direction of the force F1. So uh, we can see that F1 has a magnitude I1 L B2 and we know the magnetic field now due to this current carrying wire uh, it is mu zero times I2 divided by two pi A at the at a distance A from this wire. So that's going to give us a force mu zero I1 I2 L, the product of the currents L divided by two pi A. And the direction is towards words wire 2. So it's going to be an attractive force. Therefore, we can see that parallel conductors carrying current in the si same direction will attract each other. And similarly, parallel conductors carrying current in the opposite directions will repel each other. And this force between the two current carrying conductors, if I divide it per length, it's going to be the force, magnetic force between two current carrying conductors per length is equal to mu zero times the product of the currents I1, I2 divided by two pi times the distance between the conductors. That's the force per unit length. Okay, so we talked about the magnetic force between two parallel conductors carrying current I1 and I2 in the same direction. Using the uh, Biot-Savar law, we can determine the magnetic field due to each current carrying wire, which we did in the previous examples. And we have found that wire 2 creates a magnetic field mu0 over mu0 I2 over 2 pi A at a distance A from the wire perpendicular distance A from the wire. Now, uh, this magnetic field created by this current direction wise is found using the right hand rule. The thumb points in the direction of the current, the four fingers curl uh, out of the page, uh, 
on top and into the page at the bottom and we can see that this will be the direction of the magnetic field out of the page uh, making an angle 90 degrees with respect to the plane that contains I, uh, the two current carrying wires wire 1 and wire 2 and IL cross B is the uh, force I1 L cross B2 the magnetic field due to wire 2 at the location of this wire is the force that's the Lorentz force and since B2 is mu0 I2 over 2 pi A we see that this force is mu0 I1 I2 L divided by 2 pi A or the force per unit length is mu0 I1 I2 over 2 pi A and the force is pointing towards the wire 2. So we, we learned that when the parallel conductors carry current in the same direction, they attract each other. When they carry current in opposite directions, they repel each other with a force per unit length, mu0 i1 i2, divided by 2 pi times the distance between the two parallel conductors.